In this video, we're going to take a look at how Blender denoising methods compare to one another. The first Blender denoising method is called Open Image Denoise, which we will refer to as OID for the rest of the video, while the second is called Optics. We'll also compare them to a separate AI denoiser called Topaz AI Denoiser. So let's just get started. The first comparison we'll examine uses a low sample count of 15 with a resolution of 1080p. OID to me is hugely impressive as it cleans up so much of the noise from the image overall while looking pretty stable. The noise on the skin from subsurface scattering is completely eliminated and looks rather smooth despite the high frequency of noise in the source image. The cloth folds remain intact on the character's top and shorts, with basically zero noise. The easiest thing to complain about here is the smooth over specular highlights on the shorts. The shorts no longer have that dotted specular shininess to them. You can also see patches of red and blue on her torso which existed as noise in the original image. Moving over to optics, and the results are pretty unimpressive. The image looks like it got heavily compressed. You can see large patches of red and blue on the skin, which are actually present in the source image, but optics just kind of botches it completely. The top of the shorts seem to have been smushed around and don't really resemble the pattern that OID is actually able to resolve. Finally, let's take a look at Topaz, and it's also a disaster. Now keep in mind, I was doing my best to try and defeat the noise in the skin, which caused the shorts to lose all their folds. The skin looks terrible despite my efforts. Optics and OID have access to more information when denoising, so it's not really surprising that they're both beating Topaz, as Topaz's input is just the image. Bumping the resolution up to 4K at 15 samples, we can see the image quality improves across the board. It's worth mentioning here that the problems for the 1080p version still persist here. Optics still gives off that compressed look over the whole image, while Topaz removes folds from a lot of the clothing. The first thing that pops out is the threading detail on the top, being clearly visible in the Blender denoising methods. OID handles the threading the best. In optics, it's visible but looks heavily compressed again, while Topaz completely removes all the detail again because I had to crank up the denoising to try to defeat the noise in the skin. Beyond that, OID does a decent job of handling the speckle highlights on the shorts around the leg area. The only problem here is that it introduces more speculated to the shorts that doesn't actually exist in the source image. This area was smeared in the 1080p version for OID. Topaz here does an excellent job by retaining the highlights and not introducing lighting that doesn't exist. Optics completely fails and smudges everything. Finally, Topaz does a reasonable job on the waistband while the Blender denoising methods smear all the detail. If we crank up the samples to 1000 at 1080p, things definitely change. OID still looks really good, but Optics has improved significantly with more samples as the compression is mostly gone now. Even with the extra samples, Topaz still can't defeat the skin noise though. Moving our focus to the waistband on the shorts again, we can see there is finer specular highlight retained from the original image in optics where it's a little blurrier in OID. Topaz does a great job here as well. The one part where optics falls apart compared to OID here is the bottom bands on her shorts. It looks really faithful to the source image in OID, but it's smudged around in optics. Topaz also does a great job here, though it looks like it's applying a sharpening filter. There is less to be picky about here because the higher sample count really brings the images closer together in quality. Finally, here we're looking at a resolution of 4K with 1000 samples. With so many samples that have much higher resolution, every image actually looks pretty good. With that said, Optics does smear the waistband on the shorts a little here while OID and Topaz do not. Moreover, Optics does lose some of the microsurface skin detail on the torso here. Overall, Topaz AI presents a more consistent image as the torso microsurface detail is even and consistent, especially compared to Optics. Topaz AI also does a great job on the specular highlights on the shorts. Unfortunately, it removes surface detail on the gloves. So after all this analysis, my opinion is the following. If you're rendering an animation, you must use denoising unless your scene is incredibly simple or you have a rendering farm. If you don't use denoising, you'll be waiting forever. Using denoising allows you to use far less samples and still get a reasonable result. It's easy to see that using a smaller amount of samples favors open image denoise. If you're rendering a single frame when you can really pump up the samples to get a great image, I'd recommend saving both the original image plus the denoise image. Denoising can smooth over certain areas of the image, which can destroy detail. You can save out both images by using Compositor and hooking up the render outputs to a denoise node. Depending on the render, the original image might have very low noise and you can maintain 100% of the detail by using that image. On the flip side, you may not be able to remove all the noise and it could bother you. In that case, you can just use the denoise image. The best part about this is that you don't need to render the image twice since you can get the denoise image through Compositor. So that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching.